This is a video for AQA Mechanics, Work, Energy and Power, Section 1.3, The Work Energy Principle. Well, to derive an expression for the Work Energy Principle, I want to consider a body of mass M, which is being propelled by a constant driving force of F newtons. And so it's going to accelerate. If we say that it starts off with an initial speed of u meters per second and finds finally ends up with a speed of v meters per second when it's covered a distance of s meters. Well, we can use uh, Newton's law and we know then that f equals ma is the acceleration, or gives it where a is the acceleration, and also we've got that v squared equals u squared plus 2as, one of the equations of motion. So if we substitute from f equals ma, we can say that a is equal to f over m. So that that equation becomes v squared equals u squared plus 2f over m times s. Now from that equation then we can multiply up by m and divide by 2 so that we get a half mv squared equals a half mu squared plus fs. But if I then rearrange that, we've got f multiplied by s is equal to one half mv squared minus a half mu squared. And this is what we know as the um, work energy principle. And what it's saying is f multiplied by s is the work done by the force, force multiplied by distance moved and a half mv squared minus a half mu squared is the change in the kinetic energy, that's the final kinetic energy minus the initial uh, kinetic energy. So therefore we have this equation says that the work done by forces is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. Now we're going to use this in uh, a couple of examples. Firstly, just um, doing a calculation of kinetic energy when we have a fourth of four newton pulling a particle of fi uh, a longer distance of 5.5 meters. So we can say therefore that the work done is 4 multiplied by 5.5, 22 joules. And that will give us the kinetic energy. So the work energy principle says that the work done is the change in the kinetic energy. So force multiplied by distance equal to the change in the kinetic energy, a half mv squared. In the second example, uh, three parts of this, we've got a ball of mass 5 kilograms rolling along a rough floor, uh, initially um, at a speed of 4 meters per second, and then it comes to rest 4 meters away from its starting point. So we want to change we want to calculate the change in the kinetic energy of the ball and then work out the frictional force by first of all writing down the work done by friction. The change in the kinetic energy then is given by the final kinetic energy, which is a half M V squared minus the initial kinetic energy, a half m u squared. Well, v, we're told, is zero. It's at rest. So we've got zero minus one half multiplied by five multiplied by four squared. And that gives us a value of negative 40 joules. And therefore, we can say it's a loss of 40 joules kinetic energy. Well with the loss of 40 joules kinetic energy is to write down the work done by the friction we can say that the work energy principle says that that work done by friction must be equal to the loss in the kinetic energy so the work done by friction is minus 40 joules. Uh, to calculate the frictional force then, well the frictional force is, is opposing the motion, so if we think, just draw a quick diagram, 
the frictional force is in is this direction and we've moved in this direction 4 meters so we can say therefore that we have negative F multiplied by 4 is equal to the change in the kinetic energy or the work done by the frictional force which was negative 40 and that gives us a value of F as being equal to 10 newtons or magnitude of the frictional force of 10 newtons To clarify that then we might say that the frictional force F is 10 newtons and in the opposite direction to the motion. Well that's the end of this video uh, and the next video we'll be looking at potential energy.